Namaste. Here I am in this unbelievable World Heritage Site. This is the birthplace of Buddha. Woohoo! I always want to come here. <laughs> so, this amazing place all started 563 years before Christ when Maya Devi, a queen, was passing by going to her mother's hometown and she was pregnant and saw this beautiful pond surrounded by beauty and flowers and it is, she decided to have a bath and after bathing she started getting into labor and she hold on to a buddy tree and gave birth to Siddhartha Gautama and a seer predicted that this boy would be an amazing teacher or a great king so his father the king decided to protect him and shelter him from all the worldly knowledge inside the palace. And after 29 years, he's never been away. And then when he was 29, he decided it was time to get out of the city. And he encountered an old man, a sick man, a hermit, and a corpus. And he was so shocked by human suffering that he decided to leave all his fortune, his family behind and became a medicant holy man and fasting and meditating and he went really austere ways of life and he realized that the, 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 the way to conduct wisdom was neither suffering and starving as a poor man or not being pampered as a prince it was a middle way and he meditated for 49 days under a buddy tree and he achieved enlightenment a grasp a knowledge of human existence and from that day on he was known by Buddha the enlightened one and he went to Sarnath near Varanasi for his first sermon about the nature of existence human existence and from that day on Buddhism was created that teaches a, a self-knowledge and meditating way of breaking the cycle of birth and rebirth to achieve nirvana, a state of eternal bliss. This man started a new way of life and thousands and thousands and thousands of people come here every day to pay homage to his way of living. And in this amazing site, is surrounded by temples from all over the world, many countries who have Buddhism create their own temples to worship his knowledge and his um, way of living the middle way. So thinking about here, about all this knowledge and what can I learn from it, which strategy, which knowledge can I bring to my life, as you know I do. <laughs> and I realized that here the knowledge for me was to remember the power of one man it was neither because of rich or because of poor, it was his words and his way of seeing life. So remember, we all have this power inside us. Each man and each woman have this power of transforming their lives and the world around them. So remember, you are very powerful. Namaste.